But as you become multidimensional, incarnate, while you are in this body, mind, and spirit, it's going to throw you off. It's going to be very disorienting. Because suddenly you have energies coming in from places you have actually never experienced before, not even between the non-physical times between lifetimes. You're going to be experiencing new energy, and it is so different. It is not even quantifiable in an old energy way. There's no description for it at this point, other than this uh, cliché, new energy because it is so different. You're going to have experiences in your life when the days seem so dark and other days seem so bright, and you know what I'm talking about, don't you? You're going through it right now. You're experiencing the best of times and the worst of times while you were in this body, and it doesn't matter. Hmm. There are going to be times, dear friends, when you are in a health crisis, and it's going to terrify you because you're going to feel the approach of death at your doorstep. You're wondering what's wrong with you. Why is your body betraying you? Why is it giving out? Is, is there some other force grander than you, even a part of you, but grander than you? calling you back home? Is the body truly the power and the control and the God of life? Is the body the one that decides how and when and where you will go? So there will be health crises that come over you that make you take a look at your entire life make you wonder what you're doing. And in these health crises, it's also going to precipitate, again, a spiritual and emotional crisis, because well, you're supposed to be a spiritual, evolved being. Why would you possibly get sick? Why would something like cancer or diabetes or even a cold or a flu come your way if you're so perfect? And there's going to be other moments in these amazing times you live in When you're diagnosed with something that appears to be life-threatening, but in the blink of an eye, with the love of thyself and the choice over thy body, where this supposed disease and imbalance is just going to be flushed from your system, and it's going to mystify the doctors, so much so that they don't want to talk to you about it, because you're an anomaly. You don't fall into their book, their prescription, and their structures because something happened that was different from you, so they're going to dismiss you. But yet they're going to go back to their quiet spaces, to their homes, and wonder what just happened. It is the best of times. It is the worst of times. And above all, it doesn't matter. (laughs) 